Hey guys, so the one we reacting to, amazing four year old explain Islam best speech, mashallah. I think I got that correctly. Guys, let's go straight into this. Holy peace. Our first speaker for today is also the youngest speaker for the program. Fatima Salim Kodia was born on 13th March 2006. She is only four years and three months old. Presently in junior KD, she aspires to be a dynamic teacher, inshallah. Fatima is a very bright, cheerful, and a very creative child. She is focused at such a young age. She is a keen observer and a quick learner. Honesty and humbleness is an integral part of her nature. She has the art of winning the people's heart by her simplicity. Her hobbies are coloring, reading storybooks, and watching Dr. Zakir Naik's DVDs. Her ambition is to be a Dai and spread the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and bring people from darkness to light. Brothers and sisters, guess what is the greatest gift bestowed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the Muslims? What is better than the wealth and the treasure of this world? Yes, it is the gift of Hidayah. Yes, it is the gift of Iman. Yes, it is the gift of faith. For without knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a creator, how meaningless this life would be. But once we have this world's best treasure, it is very important to nurture it, to nourish it. Sister Fatima will show us how to save our Iman. Brothers and sisters, please welcome the youngest speaker for the day, Fatima Salim Kodia. Hush little baby, pure and small. He created me, he created us all. Hush wow. little baby, don't you fear. Alhamdulillah. Wassalat wassalam. Ala Rasulullah. Walali wassalam. Ajma'in. Amma ba'd. A'uzu billahi minal shaitan rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ya ayyuhal lazina. Amanu. Ku. Anfusku. Wa ahlihu. Naran. Rabba Shai Sadri, Vassili Amri, Wahlul, Uktadam Mirsani, Yafko Koli, Maris Patelos, and my dear brothers and sisters, Uncle Morphew, with the Islamic readings. Assalamu alaikum, Rahmatullahi, Wabarakatuhu, the peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon all of you. The topic of my talk is how to save a real man. Brothers and sisters, today, before I continue, we know how important it is to save a real man. Iman? It's the most horrible thing in this world and in Akira. In this world, man saves us from the evils of the societies and your own nafs. Watch about the Akira. In Akira, Allah is not going to check how much money you have. Allah is not going to ask you how many children you have. Allah is not going to ask you that. I is not going to check your degree, your diploma, whether you're a doctor, be a holder, MA, or PhD. No, he is not going to ask you anything of this. But what? Allah is going to ask you is about your iman. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said 
Latat kulu dal janna. None of us can enter paradise. Hatta tok menu. Until you have iman. The topic is how to save a iman. And then the prophet continued. Walla to menu hatta tahabu. You will not have iman until you love one another. Now, how do you love one another? Do you love one another? A feature of brothers, a feature of sisters. The Prophet is asking the Sabbath shall not tell of that which will to end then your love between yourself. The Prophet is asking us do you want to know how can you strengthen your love among yourself. The Prophet Sallallahu said, Afshush, Salam Abaynaku, spread the word of this, the great young Muslim, every day to see. And the Muslim say, Assalamu Alaikum, it is crazy story, man. By going on saying, these good works. Allah will strengthen your love among yourself. While you have the love to save your own man. One of the other ways to save a man is by pondering over the meanings of the Quran, which Allah has revealed to explain everything. And as the light to guide the humankind. There is no doubt that it contains a most powerful and effective cure. Things and knowledge to knowledge that leads one to fear Allah and increases one's weight in him. It's also of the ways to save a real man. From the other ways, it's doing a lot of righteous deeds and filling one's time with them. It is a part of mercy and wisdom of Allah. That he has given us a variety of acts of worship to do, some of which are physical, such as Salah, the third, Nawafil, Sunnah, Tahajjud, some financial, such as Zakah, some combined, both physical and financial aspects such as Umrah and Hajj some are spoken such as Zakir or Dua all these deeds would increase us our iman and save it from destruction even the smile should the one whom you meet increases your iman. Look at your parents, your teachers, your friends. Everyone smiles at them because smile is a sadaka. Inshallah, you'll get all the blessings of Allah. For this, I would like to end my talk by quoting 
the bells of Glory Square, which I recited in the beginning of my talk from Surah at chapter number 66, verse 6. Ya you are Zina, Amar, Ku, Amfasku, Wa Ahlikum, Naran. All you believe, save your soul and your family from the hellfire. Welcome to the Wana, Hamid Larbian. Guys, we'll stop here. I felt she she did an amazing work and this is beyond beautiful. Like like this is the epitome of beauty because I see her like going places. But with this young I'm able to explain like how she are supposed to go to heaven. I think of Imam and I love the fact that she was outspoken, she wasn't shy about anyone. She was there to like present what she was there to present. Like I love the fact she took her time. You understand? She was like she was taking it bit by bit. But she knew what she's doing, she was just flowing with it, like taking it bit by bit. Like I wish this was my daughter. Like this was a proud moment for her parents. I can tell you that. And this was amazing. Like the way she went out, like it's beautiful. Like she's making me want to give birth, but no, not yet. So guys, just like, share, subscribe to my channel. Guys, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.